Are you feeling adventurous in your cocktail game? But maybe the last word is a little too much? Try the final ward. My name is Carl. And I'm Riley. And welcome to Alchemix Bar, where we will teach you how to improve your home bartending skills. Today, Carl made us a final word. Ward. Word. Ward. Are you saying word? Ward. I'm just, I'll just make her watch your video. So it actually is the final ward with an A, right? Correct. Yes. So why is it named final ward when the original is final or the last word? Because Phil Ward from Death & Co. created this riff on the last word. Oh. So I guess he wanted to use his own name. I see. And then why is it the final instead last? I'm not sure. I think Anders kind of explains it in his video. He went a little more in depth. So if you want to learn that, go watch his video. But yeah. So this is um, definitely, I think, one of the most common cop riffs of um, the last word. I've seen some other ones where they uh, used uh, other base spirits. Like I think I've seen one with a te uh, tequila and lime juice, which I know lime juice is in the original, but so I think we're just gonna have to try them all. Naturally. I mean, why not, right? So this one, it does have, it replaces the lime juice with lemon. Yep. And the gin with a rye. With a rye, yep. And I think, the I'm not sure what the original was, but you know, using a higher proof rye is what's preferred in this one than just a normal rye whiskey, it's under 100. Because 40% alcohol is nothing. It's not enough, that's baby stuff. Baby stuff. Training wheels. We're a drinking community. We like to drink. If it's good. If it's good. So what cocktail are we drinking? The final ward. With an A. Good job. So this is actually going to be the second time we've tried this cocktail. The first time we tried it was with Woodford Reserve Rye. Um, but we made it with the 100 proof, just like Anders did in his video. For this one. For this one. Yep. So let's give this a try. I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> I like it. This is really good. I think I like this one better than the last word. The herbal is more tame. Yes. And the, the rye brings out a little bit of a sweetness and more of an earthiness mm -hmm. versus the herbal. And I think it combats the botanical as well. I agree with that. I think, and I definitely think this is better than the version that we first tried where it wasn't the higher proof. That would require me to remember trying right. that. I'm just <laughs> trying to go back to my memories. And I did like it, but I think this, the 100 proof, I think is what helps cutting down the herbal big flavor bomb. Yeah. You know, and then the lemon juice completely also changes yeah. it. Yeah. Obviously, I know that matches well with the rye, mm -hmm. but I think it just also does something different to the Luxardo and to the um, mm -hmm. chartreuse. It's amazing how changing two ingredients can completely change the cocktail yeah it's i mean i mean that's what makes cocktail you know experimenting fun trying subbing one thing out for another two things out for another and just seeing what goes well with it because at the end of the day if you're wrong you still got a cocktail to drink you know so sometimes it's not a good cocktail you just you just <laughs> you drink it, it anyway you drink it you just drink it <laughs> but so if this cocktail sounds interesting to you or you want to learn about the last word check out this video over here we just made it the other day yep and then also is there another version or spin off of the last word that we need to know about let us know in the comments because i'm excited to try it yeah awesome well have a great day cheers, cheers. pink